the biggest news of the day and of this week, and we are recording this on a Wednesday, is the fact that Las Vegas Raiders head coach John Gruden resigned over racist, misogynist, homophobic comments that were found within hundreds of emails uh, during his time at ESPN and beyond. And, you know, many of these were denouncing women as um, referees and officials, as, um, you know, his tolerance for national anthem protests and drafting openly gay players. What do you think about what has come to light about John Gruden? I think of what, <laughs> listen, I truly think of what I was told as a kid. What you do in private will be displayed in public at some point. And you just never do know when it's going to happen. And I think what this goes to show you, regardless of whatever position that you hold, like people are, they are who they are. And um, I would like to sit up here in front of you and say it's disappointing, but I mean, you know, me being a black man, and I'm just speaking from the racist side, like nothing is surprising. Nothing is surprising. And I think I would like to think that the world had an opportunity or even to narrow it down. The U.S. had an opportunity to really see that, you know, racism is real. As much as it makes people feel uncomfortable to talk about, like it's real. And it's an uphill battle every day. You know, the, the sad part is, is I feel for the players inside of that locker room, especially the black athletes. I feel for Carl Nassar. Like he was the first openly gay person to come out during the season, you know, well, during the off season. And so yeah. um, when I see that and you see what we went through, not only as a country, not only as a, a or organization, meaning the NFL, but as a country, over the past year and a half, George Floyd, and you see the NFL players pretty much stood up to the NFL league office and put out a video and forced them to back them and say, these are the initiatives that we want. And the league signed on saying, this is what we're all about. We believe in diversity and inclusion. Nobody is excluded. It is, it's good that he decided to step down because I can't tell you, I don't know if a lot of players really would have played for him continuously throughout the season. And I think you look at the previous game that they just played, did it have something to do with it? Um, I'm willing to bet pretty much everything that I owned, I think it had something to do with it. I do believe it takes a certain level of personal pride to mm -hmm. go out and play. But to have a hypocrite, I think, it, the level of hypocrisy that he stood up in front of that microphone after the game and um, tried to dethrone it or tried to say, well, I'm done talking about it. I, I don't want to, I kind of addressed it and I'm not a racist. Nah, bro, you, that ain't for you to decide. You started, you opened up this can of worms and we're going to finish with you mm -hmm. when we want to finish with you. And so I think it shows a, a Right. A higher level of privilege. I think it shows a higher level of entitlement. And um, it worked out the way it was supposed to work out.